Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy, coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we are going to be talking interest rates, but not in the way that you think. Everybody always asks, where are the interest rates? How are interest rates affecting the market? And everyone, not everyone, I should say most people think that it is a one size fits all. Here's the interest rate for a 15 year mortgage. Here it is for a 30 year mortgage. But I have lending expert James Lutz on joining me today to talk about the different factors. There's like 40 of them that go into determining the interest rate that you will receive. So without further ado, let's get James on to join us. James, how are you? Tracy, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're talking interest rates. And uh, as I let everybody know, you know, so many people think like, oh, what's the interest rate? There's just one rate and that's what they're going to get. But that's not the case, is it? No, no, no. far from it. Um, so yeah, this is a really good topic and I'm glad that we get to share this with everybody because it is something that uh, I get asked a lot or people get upset about and they kind of, they look at me as a salesperson in this industry and they think I'm pulling one over on them right. because their cousin's brother's neighbor's uncle <laughs> got this rate last week. And right. uh, that's, but again, if you educate them correctly up front, which I try to do, um, it generally answers a lot of those questions. So what we're going to talk about today are some of the obvious ones that you mentioned, and then yep. some of the ones that people may not think about or you know, understand that it has a big impact on your rate. And I got a couple scenarios loaded up behind me, but um, first, the biggest one's credit. Everybody yes. knows that credit score is, it's a big, it holds a lot of weight in the overall rate that you're going to get. Yes. Um, and I'll break that a couple of examples. But for some other examples that you may not know of, how much are you putting down? That's okay. going to have another, your LTV, loan right. to value, has another impact on your pricing. Right. Um your type of purchase, is it a primary? Is it a second home? Is it an investment home? It's my that vacation home on the beach, James. What is my interest rate? <laughs> Awful right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, another big one, uh, the program, FHA versus conventional versus VA versus rural development versus private portfolio. There's all different kinds and they all come with different rates for the most part. Right. Um, what these are called is they are called loan level pricing adjustments. These are not specific to the bank. They are straight from the top of the ladder, from FHA, Fannie, Freddie. I've worked at a handful of banks over 12 years, and we all have the same pricing adjustments, which if we can, I'm just going to go into some of them right now because yes. I've got four different scenarios and, loaded up. And while you're so. pulling that up, one of the things I want to say is, you know, especially if you've ever worked with me, one of the first things that I'm going to ask you is have you talked to your loan officer? Have you gone through and gotten your pre-approval? And it's not just, you know, it's not that I don't believe you that you are mortgageable and you're going to be able to, you know, purchase your dream home. It's that there's so many different pieces that go into um, your loan and your interest rate. And so, you know, there's, there's so many things that you need to calculate and we need to understand before someone can have some really good information as to um, what they are capable of as far as a loan goes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And like okay. you said, from a realtor standpoint, it's not only just worrying about what interest rates my buyer is going to get. It's are they approved? Right. Can you get a right. loan? Right. Again, with For some. Go out and right. Get yep. your hopes up and you start putting your heart <laughs> into these homes and then find out there's a blockage or something. But Absolutely. So, we don't like to have broken first, hearts. <laughs> Exactly. Right. We try to prevent that. So right. this first example here is a con I just did all conventional to kind of keep it easy. I don't want to get too confusing on this quick informative call sure. here. So this is just a conventional purchase, 10% down with great credit, 750 credit. Okay. There is a factor. One of the pricing adjustments is for the loan to value being between 10 and 15% down combined with FICO being over 740 you are taking a negative 0.25 hit. So that's a quarter of a point, quarter of a percent hit just for being in that criteria, okay. which just sounds crazy because you're yeah. like, well, I'm putting more than the minimum down and I have great credit. And right. I'm still getting hit. Yes. <laughs> no, that's I just, those are just the guidelines. And when you say loan to yep. value, can you just give us a brief description as to what that means? Yep. Your basic is the basic way to put it is how much you're putting down the loan okay. amount in comparison to the value of the home. Okay. 
So that's your LTV. So a 90% yes. LTV means that you put 10% down on that home. Okay. And so on and so forth. Yep. The next comparison, same exact scenario, but a little bit worse credit, 650 credit. And you'll see that it went from a quarter of a point hit to 2.75. Wow. Negative. Wow. Just that's for a, credit. Just for credit. So 100 points in your credit score makes a 2.5% swing in the in uh, the hit that you take on the interest rate. Wow. Yeah, you take a negative 2.75 hit for that. Um, another scenario here, and we're going to flip over into the occupancy type, primary versus secondary. Okay. And uh, you still take, and this is, again, great credit. So you take your quarter of a point hit for your uh, loan to value and your FICO score being what it is. And then you take a, let's brace yourself, negative 4.125 hit in today's market just for it being a second home. Wow. And now, I, it isn't always this bad. I don't want right, to right. people right. No, 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 no. It's just right we now. We have a very yes. rough it's market for this year. In the past, this was a lot less of a big hit, but I, there were still hits. Right. And I know those were some changes that have come down within the last couple of years. Um, so yeah. when we're talking secondary home, it means it's not where you live. It's not your primary residence where you live full time. This is like your cottage up north or your vacation home, you know, in Florida. In Florida or, wherever, yeah, yeah, wherever. Yes. Yep. So exactly. So okay. I know it's kind of scary, but this is stuff you should know before you go into it. So you're not totally shocked. And... But but again, so it, it's a secondary home. But if they're putting more money down, I mean, all of those things factor in. So if you're putting 50 yep. percent down, it's still going to be higher. But, you know, yep. you, you might get a little bit of a break there. Um, you know, if you're putting more money down as opposed to financing more. Yeah. Right? And I know not every loan officer likes to do this or does it, but I found that if I'm face to face with a client in my office, I like to show them the pricing and we do, I'll run scenarios and I'll yeah. say, here's what would happen if you did this. Here's what would happen if you put less down, if you put more down and that way they get all the comparisons yeah. live real time and well, it's and our job to educate them, but it's their job to make the decision. Exactly. The decision is yeah. theirs, but it is good to have that information because they can make, I know you and I are both big on informed decisions, you know, because if they're buying a home that might need a little more love, as I call it, right, you need to update yeah. the kitchen or a bathroom, they might want to reserve a little more of their cash to do some of those projects. So understanding how that's going to affect their interest rate and then, their, you know, in turn, their payment is important. Yeah, and like you said, absolutely. You take the hit, put less down up front, take a little bit of a higher deal. Right. But uh, something that a lot, of, a lot of people are talking about this year is the price you pay for your home is permanent. Your interest rate is not. So that's a great point. That's a great keep point. That in mind. Yes, you can always refinance at some point. You know, when rates yep. come down, you have more equity in the home. Maybe your credit was a little bit on the shabby side and you've spruced it up a little bit. So, Right. All of those factors make a difference. So, yep. wow, that, Absolutely. that is, that's amazing. So, you know, I hope if, if you've been out there and you've wondered why, why does my friend get this interest rate and I get, you know, I'm getting that right. That is why there are so many different factors that, that go into that interest rate. So. Absolutely. And that's what we're here to do is educate. So, um, yes. you know, again, like last video, we don't want to go too deep into specifics, but no, if you need no. help, someone like Tracy's here, someone like myself is here to have that conversation with you. Yes. And it's also why it's important before you're like, okay, I'm ready to buy that house. It's always important to check in with a seasoned, seasoned loan officer such as James, because you want to give all of your information so that you can get good information and make those informed decisions. So if you want more exactly. specifics, feel free, like James said, to reach out to either of us and we can help you um, find out what's best for you and maybe even put you on a plan. I know sometimes you work with clients, right, that maybe aren't ready, but help get them in shape so that a year from now or six months or whatever it may be, they are in a better position to secure the home they want and at an interest rate that is palatable. So. 100%. Yep. yep. We're not yeah. here for the instant money. We're here for the right. long run. And, you know, what's best for you guys as the client. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you joining us today, James. Anything else that we should know about interest rates before I uh, let you no, get back to No, I think we it? covered enough. Just yeah. again, the big thing is, remember, they're not permanent. This What we're going through right now is right. it's not going to last forever. So 
You know, if you get a good deal on a house and Tracy says this is a great price, buy the house. Yeah. Refi later. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Always exactly. a pleasure being on here. I love your yeah. show. Thanks for having me again. Oh, uh, well, thank you so much for taking the time today, James. I really appreciate you and all of your information, and we will have you on again. So thank you all for tuning in on Tea with Tracy. Next week starts a special series. We're going to be doing a local election series throughout the month of October and into November as we head into election season. So if you're curious as to, you know, what some of the local positions are, you know, you don't want to just be randomly filling out your ballot. If you'd like a little more information on that, stay tuned for the next five weeks. It's going to be a great series. So Thank you, James. Thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you next week on Tea with Tracy.